Julius Robert Oppenheimer was one of the most brilliant minds of the 20th century. He was a physicist, and a professor who is famously termed as the father of atom bomb. Behold! Before delving into the wondrous ways in which the Bhagavad Gita and Vedanta sparked Oppenheimer's exceptional scientific journey, let us first cast our gaze upon his vast and awe-inspiring contributions to the world. Oppenheimer's contributions to the scientific world are nothing short of extraordinary. His leadership of the Manhattan Project led to the successful development of the world's first atomic bomb, which was a monumental achievement in the history of science and technology. Oppenheimer's vision and intellect brought together some of the greatest minds of the 20th century and paved the way for new discoveries in physics, chemistry, and engineering. Under Oppenheimer's guidance, the Manhattan Project not only succeeded in creating the atomic bomb, but it also helped to establish a new field of science known as nuclear physics. Oppenheimer's insights and discoveries fundamentally changed the way we understand the nature of matter and energy. But Oppenheimer's contributions to science go beyond just the atomic bomb and nuclear physics. He was a brilliant physicist who made significant contributions to quantum mechanics, astrophysics, and cosmology. His research on black holes and neutron stars helped to advance our understanding of the universe and its origins. But there are two factors to Oppenheimer that many people don't know about. One his deep and abiding love for the Holy Bhagavad Gita and 2. That key influences on his thinking and scientific marvels were the Indian philosophy of Vedanta. First let us have a look at how Bhagavad Gita influenced him. Oppenheimer was raised in a Jewish family in New York City, but he was always curious about different religions and philosophies. As a young man, he studied physics at Harvard University and became interested in Eastern philosophy. In particular, he was drawn to the Bhagavad Gita, which is one of the most important texts in Hinduism. The Bhagavad Gita tells the story of a warrior named Arjuna who is struggling with the idea of going to war against his own family members. Arjuna is counseled by Lord Krishna, who helps him understand the nature of existence, action, and consciousness. The Gita is considered by many to be a guide for ethical and spiritual living, and it has had a profound influence on Hindu culture for thousands of years. Oppenheimer was so taken with the Gita that he learned to read Sanskrit so he could study it in its original language. He kept a copy of the Gita with him at all times, and he would often quote from it in his speeches and lectures. When it comes to Vedanta, it is a mind-boggling philosophy that teaches that the ultimate reality of the universe is Brahman, a formless, infinite, and eternal entity. Vedanta emphasizes the unity of all existence and the importance of self-knowledge in achieving enlightenment. Oppenheimer first encountered Vedanta while he was studying physics at Cambridge University in England. He became interested in the philosophy after attending a lecture by the Indian philosopher Jiddu Krishnamurti. Krishnamurti was a disciple of the renowned Vedanta teacher Swami Vivekananda, and his teachings had a profound impact on Oppenheimer's thinking. He saw a connection between Vedanta's teachings and his own work in physics, which sought to understand the fundamental nature of the universe. Oppenheimer's interest in Vedanta deepened when he met the Indian philosopher and spiritual leader Savpali Radhakrishnan. Radhakrishnan was a student of Vedanta, and had written extensively about the philosophy. Oppenheimer was impressed by Radhakrishnan's insights into the nature of existence and the importance of self-knowledge in achieving enlightenment. In the years that followed, Oppenheimer became a student of Vedanta himself. He studied the philosophy with several teachers, including the Indian monk Swami Satchidananda, who would later become famous for his teachings on yoga and meditation. Oppenheimer's love for Vedanta had a profound impact on his life and work. He saw a connection between the philosophy's teachings on the nature of existence and his own work in physics, and he used Vedanta to guide his thinking about the universe. But it was during the Manhattan Project that Oppenheimer's love for the Gita and Vedanta really came to the forefront. As the director of the project, 
he was responsible for overseeing the development of the atomic bomb, which would ultimately be used to devastating effect in the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Oppenheimer was deeply conflicted about the project. He knew that the bomb had the potential to end the war quickly and save millions of lives, but he also knew that it was a weapon of mass destruction that could change the course of human history. It was during this time that Oppenheimer turned to the Bhagavad Gita and Vedonata for guidance. He saw himself as Arjuna, struggling with the idea of using the bomb, and he saw the scientists who worked on the project as Lord Krishna, helping him understand the nature of existence and the consequences of his actions. Oppenheimer was also deeply affected by the Bhagavad Gita that he saw a connection between the Gita's teachings on action and the consequences of one's actions and his own work on the bomb. Moved by the divine trinity of Hinduism, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, Oppenheimer bestowed upon the top secret project a name of immense power and significance. In the midst of 1944, he uttered the codename Trinity, heralding the arrival of the world's first nuclear bomb blast, a momentous event that would change the course of history forever. In a famous radio broadcast in 1945, just after the bombing of Hiroshima, Oppenheimer quoted a verse from the Bhagavad Gita that perfectly captured his feelings about the bomb. Let us hear the radio broadcast. He knew the world would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. become death, the destroyer of worlds. The quote was chilling, as it suggested that Oppenheimer saw himself as a godlike figure, capable of unleashing destruction on a scale never before seen in human history. But it also reflected his deep sense of responsibility and his awareness of the consequences of his actions. Oppenheimer's love for Vedanta and Gita continued to influence him even after the end of the Manhattan Project. He became a vocal advocate for disarmament and nuclear non-proliferation, recognizing the dangers of nuclear weapons and their potential for catastrophic destruction. He became a professor of physics at the University of California, Berkeley, and he would often use the Gita in his teaching. He saw a connection between the Gita's teachings on the nature of existence, and the universe and his own work in physics. Oppenheimer's love for Vedanta and his deep commitment to peace and social justice earned him many admirers, but it also made him a target of suspicion during the Cold War. He was accused of being a communist sympathizer and was stripped of his security clearance in 1954. The accusations against Oppenheimer were largely based on his associations with leftist groups and his opposition to nuclear testing. But they were also fueled by his interest in Vedanta, and his deep commitment to social justice. Oppenheimer's experiences show the power of philosophy and religion to shape our thinking, and our actions. For Oppenheimer, Vedanta provided a framework for understanding the universe and his place in it, as well as a guide for his actions and decisions. But Oppenheimer's story also highlights the dangers of nuclear weapons and the need for greater understanding and cooperation between nations. The atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki remain among the most devastating events in human history, and they serve as a warning of the dangers of nuclear war. The upcoming release of Christopher Nolan's movie, Oppenheimer, promises to bring to the big screen the story of J. Robert Oppenheimer, his role in the Manhattan Project, and hopefully the profound influence of the Bhagavad Gita, and Vedanta on his life and work. As we anticipate this film, we can reflect on the legacy of Oppenheimer and the enduring importance of his story. 
In the end, Oppenheimer's love for Vedanta and Gita, and his commitment to peace and social justice remain an inspiration for us all. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.